what is up my bro hams and gal pals my name is dawn flower and welcome to the very first episode of dawn flower gaming this is a series i hope to go on to have go on for a while um i recently abandoned my other gaming account because it was kind of annoying to handle two accounts at once so i'm just going to be doing some gaming here and for now i'm only going to do pc games till i get like a capture card or whatever you need to have decent quality uh, game system things. Um, so yeah, this is actually the only PC game I have at the moment. So I'm just going to play this. As you can see, I have played it before and got all the way to night five, but I'm going to start over for the sake of you viewers. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. So unfortunately for you guys, I already know, you know, what to do, some strategies, so it won't be as fun for you guys to watch, because uh, I know it's kind of funny when people don't know what to do and just kind of sit there like, uh, okay. However, that doesn't mean I won't be scared, because watching and playing are two totally different things, and I kind of get scared when I'm playing. So hopefully you guys can have some good laughs. I guess I won't talk over uh, the phone either. I already know what I already know what he says, but some people might not. So. Hello. Hello. Uh, I wanted to record a message for you to help you get settled in on your first night. Um, I actually worked in that office before you. I'm finishing up my last week now, as a matter of fact. So I know it can be a bit overwhelming, but I'm here to tell you. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, you'll be fine. So let's just focus on getting you through your first week, okay? Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory greeting from the company that I'm supposed to read. It's kind of a legal thing, you know. Um, welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, a magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or a person. Upon discovering that damage or death has occurred, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. <laughs> you uh, make the animatronic me laugh. characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I blame them? No. If I were forced to sing, those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children and we need to show them a little respect, right? Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up if they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too, but then there was the bite of 87. Yeah. It's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Mm, okay. Uh, now, concerning your safety, the only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. That's lovely. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wires, and animatronic devices, especially around the facial area. So you can imagine how having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Uh, the only parts of you that would likely see the light of day again would be your eyeballs and teeth that pop out the front of the mask. That's know? gross. Yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Oh, now you tell us. Power. All right, good night. I always found it annoying that he tells you that at the very end. So you like sit there with the doors closed and you're like, oh, that's great. Of course, I already know not to do that. So yeah, the first night, literally nothing happens. 
so yeah, I'm just gonna kinda sit here, and I wish I had good stuff to say, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I watched a video where someone squeaked the nose, and I just went, hmm, that's interesting. Just kind of a happy little noise to make while you're, you know, sitting here in this terrifying job. Also, sorry uh, if I'm sniffing a lot. I kind of get some allergies as summer ends and fall begins, so yeah, that might be kind of annoying. Luckily, I'm not coughing at all. Come on, something happened. This is boring. Anyway, we're at 3 a.m. and 68%. That is very good, actually. So yeah, we're definitely going to survive this night. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone lose on the first night. It is possible though for, you know, someone who doesn't know how to play and they just sit there using up a lot of power, but yeah. And I honestly wish I had something to say, but I'm not funny like a lot of YouTubers. You know what would really help? Turning off this stupid fan. I'm sure that's draining a buttload of power. Plus it makes a really annoying buzzing sound. Yeah. Also, if you're gonna be sitting here, at least clean up a little. I mean, you got these icky cobwebs and trash everywhere. Who knows how old that drink is. Yeah. So yeah, we might get... A little bit of activity as the night gets pretty late, but I- oh yeah, here we go. Someone's moving. And it was Bonnie! Where'd he go? Oh, he's moving again. There he is. So yeah, I, I know a lot about this game. I know all the characters and I'm kind of in love with this game, but I hate it at the same time. It's so stupid, but I love it. Uh. Wow, you are feeling active. Where'd you go? Okay. Bonnie? Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's, it's always really hard to tell if he's at the end of the hallway because it seems like there's always something there. You gotta really look. It doesn't help that these cameras suck. Sorry, I just heard kind of a microphone clip. It's kind of close to my face, but that's really the only way you can hear anything because this thing kind of sucks. Once I get a job, which I'm ashamed to say I don't have one right now, I will buy some better equipment. Oh, I just did it again. Some better recording equipment and, you know, some more games. For now, I'll probably look for some free indie games and see if anything is actually good. Um, well, yeah, if you guys have any requests, go ahead and tell me. But for now, I'm just going to be playing this. Oh, crap, I keep clipping the microphone. Oh, Chica move. There she is. How's it going? Yeah, 42% at 5 a.m. If only this could happen on like the fifth night. Or even the fifth oh, hi, Bonnie. No? Oh, I heard footsteps. Must have been Chica. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh, he doesn't usually stay here for this long. What the heck? Get out of here. I mean, obviously we're not going to run out of power because it's probably almost 6 a.m., but come on. You butt cheek. Honestly. Sounds like cheek is in the kitchen. I heard a clang. Oh, come on. Come the freak on. Oop. Oh 
my gosh. Alright, we're good. Well, like I said, uh, literally nothing happened. Okay, not nothing, because Bonnie's at the door, but uh, you can pretty much sit back and relax for, you know, the first two thirds of the night on the first night. And on the second night, a little more stuff happens. I've seen some people even get attacked by Foxy before. Uh, just, you know, it's completely random, so it really just depends on how the characters feel. Alright, I'll be quiet for this phone call now. It's annoying how it takes, you know, like three really long rings or maybe four to pick up. But yeah, here we go. Ooh. Uh, hello? Hello? Uh, well, if you're hearing this and you made it to day two, uh, congrats! I, I won't talk quite as long this time since Freddy and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddy himself doesn't come off stage very often. What are you looking at? I've heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark, though, so, hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Oh, don't give me your uh, sass. I also want to emphasize the importance of keeping your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera's view, hey. and those blind spots happen to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something, or someone, on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, uh, shut up. Also, uh, check on the curtain in Ooh. Pirate Cove from time to time. The character there in there is. seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, so I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Okay, so he stopped talking. Thankfully, every night the phone calls seem to get a little shorter. And oh, she could have moved already again. There she is. Bonnie's still over there. Pirate Cove hasn't moved. Or Foxy. Whatever, I don't think you guys care that much. Ugh, I'm already getting kind of nervous. This game shouldn't be that scary, but it is. So, yeah. There's Chica. She moved over there. <sighs> oh my gosh, I hate when that happens. Please don't. Please don't do that to me. Okay. What was that? I heard a weird noise. It wasn't the dum-dum-dum. I know that that's Foxy, but I heard something else. Sounds weird. So we're at 1 a.m. 71. Uh, we could be doing better, um, yeah, actually I don't know, I think that's kind of good. I don't know exactly how the power consumption works, but uh, we'll see. Foxy still hasn't shown up, he might not, he usually doesn't on the second night, excuse me, but like I said, I have seen him move before. forever that time. So yeah, usually I don't get that scared, but sometimes the noise will kind of get me when they're in the doorway. Usually I know when to expect them, but sometimes I don't, and so it kind of gets me. So yeah, I'm a little bit of a wuss when it comes to scary games. Um... So we're 
we're halfway through the night and halfway through our power, so I guess that's pretty even. I guess we're doing okay. I need to stop flashing those lights for so long. Sometimes I click and it doesn't do anything. It's really annoying. Foxy hasn't shown up yet. Of course, Freddy's still there. Ooh, we're done. Chica for a second, but it sounds like she's still in the kitchen. Ooh, it's still 3 a.m. We're at 45. Better turn to 4 a.m. soon. Oh, there he is. See you right outside. Okay, oh, there he is. Footsteps again. There he is. Hello. You gonna stay forever again? Please don't. Fox still hasn't shown up. He's still there. Jeez Louise. Oh my gosh. them again. Okay, moving away. That's Rosie. Oh yeah, there he is. Is Judy still in the kitchen? Nope, there she is. Okay, 4 a.m., 30%. I, I guess that's not bad. I'm pretty sure we'll make it. Um, yeah. We shouldn't stare at my cameras for too long. Okay. Foxy hasn't decided to peek out yet. Oh, I heard those steps. I never know if I hear them or not. Oop. Oh, where's Chica? Oh, you moved pretty fast, huh? Footsteps, is it Bonnie? Doesn't look like it. Bonnie, where'd you go? Oh, there he is. No, he was there. Oh my, oh, you moved really fast. Oh boy. You're draining my power, man. Oh, there you go. Dum de dum, dum dum yourself, Foxy. You think the dum de dum dum means that uh, he's coming out of his uh, curtain, but I guess not. I guess he just does it whenever he feels like it. Just to say, you know, hey, don't forget about me. Sounds like she's in the kitchen. I hardly ever get to close, it seems like. Except, you know, on the later nights. Probably shouldn't look at my cameras while the door is closed. It uses way too much power. Speaking of which, we are at 8%, which is not that good, but we're at 5 a.m. It's been 5 a.m. for a while, so I think. Oh, oh yeah! Well, thank you guys so much for watching, but I think that will be it for the first episode because I don't want to go for too long. So, 